and welcome to this Saturday's video. Um, here in the UK it's actually Easter Saturday in between Good Friday and Easter Sunday so it's a long weekend here. Um, so I thought I would make a little Easter card. Um, I've been inspired by a few other cards recently and therefore I thought I would um, use those as my inspiration to make an Easter card for us today. Um, so I'm picking some nice springy colours. I've got some Highland Heather here. This is an A5 piece of paper, so I'm just going to fold it over, corner to corner, and use my bone folder to make a nice even fold, so my card lays flat. I've got a layer here of pool party as well, and actually I don't need to do anything else with this, so I'm going to grab my um, glue, Ooh, nice bit of glue there, and oh, there's the cat just coming in. And just stick that straight on to here, leaving an even border all the way around. That um, glue just make, means that if anything's not straight, I've got a little bit of time to wiggle it around a little bit. But there we go. That's my kind of base card to start with. And then I have a piece of Whisper White, or basic white now, um, and some So Saffron, which is on our um, Subtles colour family with stamping up. So now I've gone straight into this card today, haven't I? I didn't want this to take ages. Um, and I'm just sticking it alongside that border. Again, making sure it's straight. Make sure it's all stuck down properly. I normally cut my pattern paper a little bit longer, just in case I'm slightly over somewhere, that it's not overlapping one end and short the other end. And then I can just use my scissors to trim it off. And if I didn't glue, enough and there's a bit of a flappy bit which there's a tiny bit there I can just go back in with my glue there we go so make sure it's there okay so there are kind of colours for today but I haven't finished with this yet I have some white twine now this white twine actually comes from the snail dit bundle um, I don't know how long I want actually, let's just cut a bit off. Um, the Snailed It bundle that comes with a nice blushing bride pink as well. So I'm going to put this to one side, get rid of those. And we'll see how many times I want to go around this. And I'm not bothered at the moment where it is, how it's laying, where my bow's going to be, is it in the right place or anything like that. I'm just, there we go, I might go three. And then... Oh, tie a knot. Tie a knot in it, and in fact, I'm going to tie a double knot in it. So I'm tying it quite tight, but not so tight that the card bends, and that will move a little bit as we go. So, in fact, now I can move it. So nothing's stuck down, so it'll all move quite happily. And I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to do a bow, I think, as well. So just like tying my shoelaces, oh, she says, except for sometimes I'm all fingers and thumbs. So I'll just use my tweezers to grab that. There we go. And three. I want that a bit smaller. So I'm pulling my tails <laughs> to make my loops smaller until I'm happy. And then tightening. I only want a small, small little bow. That'll do. And then a bit of a tail. I don't want a long dangly tail, but you can have whatever you want. There we go, that'll do. Get rid of that. Okay, and I might move that down once I have done. So look, that's where we're kind of at at the moment. So, so saffron, pool party and highland heather, some very spring-like colours. Now what I have, um, I'm going to do next is, so I am using the Springtime Joy set um, and I'm going to use this little rabbit here just because it's Easter. So you could use the lamb, you could use the chick, although it's probably not big enough, but any kind of chick, lamb, rabbity image you have, you can use exactly the same. So I'm actually going to put this to one side for a moment and I've got a, a pad of post-it notes here and what I'm going to do, this is the, um, the what's it called? rabbit 
And I've got some smoky slate ink, just because that's what I've got out at the moment. For this, actually any colour, doesn't matter. Now I want the sticky bit, so I want to stamp this so that I've got a bit of sticky. So I'm stamping him as close to the edge as I can. And actually, it doesn't matter whether he's straight or not, because I'm going to cut him out. And But he will have... Oh, she says when she peels off too many layers. Let's stick that one back on and get rid of that. So you will have um, a rabbit that's cut out that would be, I mean, when you cut it out properly, it would be, it's got some sticky on the back. So I did, actually did one earlier. So cut him out perfectly. I say I did one earlier. Ha <laughs> ha, what did I do with it? Oh no, come on. Oh, there he is, he's hiding under my scissors. So there we go. So you go from that... To cutting him out so you get that and then like i say that is sticky so it's post-it note sticky and i'm going to stick that i'm going, kind of going to go cornerish i think i'm going to go there so he will stick down there we go and then i have a whole load of blends so i have two pool party two granny apple green, two highland heather, and two so saffron. So you might recognize some of those colors from there. And what I do, or what I'm gonna do, more post-it notes. So I'm gonna choose both my granny apple greens at the moment. So two post-it notes, and I'm going to, well there's my sticky bit, go across the kind of head and, because I'm trying to segment this into quarters, basically, is what, where I'm going with this. And about there. So I leave this area here all free. And I'm not worried about my twine and that at the moment. So, always start with light and always use bullet end. You can move this around how you like. And I am doing... Lots of dots. Don't worry about going over the post-it note. But as I go out, I'm doing less. So a lot more closer to the post-it note. And in fact, I almost want a whole edge all around there. And this is light. It might be running out. and less out here. And just dots, dot, 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 dot. It's very light. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get my dark, and again, I'm gonna use, now so these are alcohol markers, but they don't have to be alcohol markers, they could be any marker. Um, the reason I'm using these is just because I like them and I've got the colors. But if you had something else, you could do that. So just the fact that their alcohol is irrelevant right now. Just nice colours. And so I'm doing more dense near to this. And there is a name for this. And I wish I'd found out what it was. <laughs> but if you do, and you find it on the... Um, then write, leave a comment for me. But you can leave me a comment anyway. But there we go. And then if you feel that you've got a bit too dark, then you can bring some more of that light in if you want to. Especially seeing as that's so faint. That'll do. Okay, so that's my Granny Apple Green done. So then I'm going to do the other side. So I'm going to move that and I'm going to cover most of that. Might get an idea of what I'm doing. And then I might go pool party. So I've got a light and a dark. So these blend um, pens are alcohol-based markers, but I say that, that's irrelevant today. It could, you could use um, let's have a look, the stamping mark markers as well, but the dots would be super thin, but perhaps you could do it with, yeah, you could do it with the um, brush end of the right markers as well so entirely up to you so always start with light and off we go again oh that's got more in it in fact that is my light check that is my light that is my light so less out 
to here and more around those edges. You can sit and watch me do this. <laughs> and then I go with my darker. Go. Probably should have done a blue Peter. Here's one I did earlier, but I didn't. <laughs> Never mind. Right, so we're all done the top, and then you can see the kind of look we're getting here now. So now I'm going to, I'm ignoring Mr. Rabbit, and again, I'll just put a little bit so I can see there, and, oh, and again, about halfway through the rabbit. And what should we have next? I might go the Highland Heather. So my light first. Oh, I've stuck myself down there. Oh, and the wrong end. And this is the light, isn't it? Yes, just checking. So I'm trying to get, so you can see through that anyway, kind of where I go to. So I'm gonna make sure I go to a similar kind of distance. And then and again, we start getting more, more dots nearer to the post-it note. And then we get the darker. And again, this is quite a lot darker. Do. You can go as, I mean, as, as solid as you like, really. And then we're going to use our So Saffron. Make sure I've got the light, that's the dark, so that's the light. So again, I mean, you could intermingle these, so you could put some yellow in the blue and the blue in the yellow, etc. But I kind of quite like the segmented look. Again, I've got my doing more. And try not to drag, you've got to really dot. And don't press too hard, you don't want to ruin the, the ends. There we go. And again, the darker. more concentrated by the post-it note of the rabbit. That will do. So let's take off our yep, post-it notes and see, apart from Mr. Rabbit post-it note, and have a look, see how evenly we've done. Now, as it turns out, I think, I think that green is not showing up. Oh, wrong end. I think I might need a new granny apple green. I think that's very light, isn't it? But there we go, it just mixes. There we go. So, let's move all those out of the way. And now I can take off my rabbit. And you could leave it like that. <laughs> I think that looks quite cool. But I'm going to put him up on... Um, Stumping Dimensionals, which is just 3D foam tape. So this layer is just raised slightly. There we go. And it, you can see it comes through on the back as well. It's very pretty. There we 
you know. Right, I might, I'm quite happy. My, I've got my three strands there. I'm quite happy with my bow, I think, being there. Do I want it a tiny bit lower? Maybe a tiny bit lower. That'll do. That'll do. And then again, I'm sticking it on my base card, but making sure my borders are even before I kind of try and stick it down too much. So now what you want to do is you need to get a scrap of white card. And again, I want my smoky slate ink. Um, just because I didn't want black. I didn't want, I think these um, nice um, spring light colours, black can be a little bit harsh. Um, and even basic grey was a bit dark, which is why I went smoky slate. Um, and so that's quite dark, but it will um, colour lighter. Um, and then what I'm going to do is use some of my pens. I use the Highland Heather and the So Saffron um, to colour him in cut him out and there's one I made earlier <laughs> so what I've done with him is I want to just um, you can see I've used the back as a practice first so just two stamping dimensionals again there and now I've got my guide as to where he's going to go cute and then for my sentiment I got some of, of some smoky slate and I'll show you how I made it I'm, I've done a lot of this lately so you you will know if you've watched a few of my videos so to get nice white um, sentiments I use the welcome spring stamp a versamark ink pad which is sticky glycerin ink pad um, also known as a watermark ink pad I think I've got that no I've got that there um, and I did do two in actual fact. A, because just in case one goes wrong, and B, in case um, you don't want to snip too close when you're snipping a sentiment, because you can see it's all actually in one, um, but, I, but I, wanted, I knew I wanted to split it up like that. Um, you might want to do two and use half of each. So this is just a scrap piece of paper, so ignore this. So this is sticky at the moment. You can see what we mean by the watermark effect. Um, because it, if you could, you would leave that like that. It would take a little while to dry. If I was to wipe that now, it would smear. Uh, but I've got some white embossing powder. That's I've got all sorts of bits and bobs in it, but that'll do. I didn't use my embossing buddy to start with, but I think this is all right. Give it a good flick. There we go. And you can see that powder. Can you see that? Has stuck to the sticky bit, basically. Anything you don't use, that's what the bit of scrap paper was for, can be put back in your pot for another time. There we go. And then you heat this. Oh, she says, starting it already. Um, because if you were to, if I was to leave that, you can leave it for a while, because it does. the glycerin does take a while to dry. But if you left that for kind of 20 minutes, half an hour, the glycerin will dry, and then the powder would no longer stick. And all you're doing is just heating, and it goes from that... show you the two there hopefully can you see oh she says get the right, right camera so one still got that's what it looks like when you've sprinkled it at the top and when you heat it that embossing powder melts and if I rub my finger across it now a it would burn my finger because that heat tool is hot and B it might smear but give it probably 30 seconds or so and A, it'll be cool and, and raised. So this is actually raised as well. Um, why it's called embossing powder, because the writing is raised. Um, and that way, you know, you don't leave that bit there. But actually, I'm going to, while I'm there, you see, we'll do the top one. And that's it. And so I cut this out um, just literally with my pair of scissors, like that, etc. Until I got both little bits like that. So welcome spring. And I'm just going to put those. I haven't decided where I'm going to put them actually. Put them there like that. What do we think to that? 
or I could go welcome spring but I think we're going too far in the corner there right over here and I'm going to raise those as well so this could be fun with the welcome because it's so tiny now we do have tiny dimensionals as well so in fact I'm going to use those that'll be no problem on there but they're too big for there so in fact what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut one in half and use the halves I might have stuck that a bit too. So let's do the spring first. There we go. Ooh, upside down. Do we want him straight? Do we want him wonky? We might go a bit wonky. Do that. And then. Oh, welcome's upside down as well. So in fact, I might use that. There we go, let's go. That's why well, it doesn't have to be straight. And that's it. So that is our card. Welcome spring, happy Easter, whatever you want to call it, incorporating all the colours. Highland Heather, Pool Party, So Saffron, and the green there for the Granny Apple Green. There we go. That's it for today. Thanks for sharing this with me, and I hope that inspires you if you are going somewhere tomorrow or Monday and you haven't yet made a card and you want to, then how quick was that? That took me 20 minutes and so no time at all. And I say, this little fellow can be um, moved out for any Easter animal or anything. It doesn't have to be an Easter card. Obviously, you can lay, use the colours as your spring inspiration for another card or you can use the layout as an inspiration for anything else as well. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.